much like the deer hunter, wishes that it were deer season year-round. So too does the watermelon hunter wish that he were in the north woods hunting his prey of choice. Sadly, that is not to be, and part of the fun of hunting is the preparation. So while we'd rather be hunting watermelon, cantaloupe, spaghetti squash, bread cabbage, Sam's choice, etc., today we're going to prepare for that hunt, and we're going to do so by learning how to disassemble a Glock magazine. Now I'll be the first to admit that this is not the most scintillating topic, so to liven things up I put a little eye candy on the table. We've got the Glock 26 Gen 4, the Glock 17 Gen 3 RTF2, which you've seen before, some Glock 26 magazines, there's some Spear Gold Dots, and some Hornady Critical Defense, and Got some full metal jacket there, probably American Eagle. Some more gold dots. We've got our snap caps. We'll be seeing more of those in a bit. And some more critical defense. And uh, this is the Glock tool, which is about the equivalent of a 330 seconds hex key. So if you want to use that instead, go for it. So let's take a moment and we'll clear all the stuff out of here, change our camera angle, and uh, I'll get a Glock magazine and show you what I mean about the fast and easy way to disassemble a Glock magazine. Now I should warn you in advance that if you're watching this, I'm probably about to offend you. So if you're one of my gentler viewers, please avert your eyes. For the rest of you, look on and prepare yourselves. This is a Hawaii compliant 10 round magazine. Yeah, I don't like it either. Well, our first step is to unload the magazine. And I could have done this already, but part of the joy of firearms is that we can't shoot them all the time, but at least we can handle them a little bit. So let's pop my five snap caps out of there and set those aside, putting them at a uh, distance where I can't get my hands on them and get everything mixed up. And if you're wondering why we're zoomed out so far, it's because we're gonna need some room to work. Things might get wild so we're under spring tension. All right, so we have here our floor plate, and that button is part of the magazine insert, which you're going to see in a second. Now this floor plate rides on a couple of rails, and there's a little nub on the edge that keeps it from being able to be pushed out easily. So the inclination is to try and push down on that button and try and finagle that plate forward, and that's going to be fairly difficult. But what you can do that's way easier, and the angle is that you're going to want to go in here is at about the angle of the front of the magazine, is jam the Glock tool in there, and that's going to put that magazine insert, and it's going to go right past the edge of it, and then with a little violence of action here, you're going to push forward and try and pry this uh, floor plate off. So it takes a little oomph, don't worry, you're not going to break it. And if you do, replacement floor plates, magazine inserts, like four bucks. All right, there we go. We're past the point of no return. Keep our thumb on it. It's your floor plate. It's your magazine insert. We're done with you for now. There is your follower and spring. And that was pretty straightforward and easy. High five. And if you've ever been curious how they block these things off, you can see they've got those beveled edge in there to keep you from adding extra fun. All right, let's reverse the process. If you see these components shift around in uh, their orientation with some uh, cuts from the video, you'll know I screwed it up. All right. See if we can do this looking through the camera. Follower, spring, if this comes off, it's fairly easy to just kind of pop back in place. And have a peek at it and make sure it's oriented correctly before you move on. Next up, we're gonna put our insert in here. Put things under just a touch of pressure and hold it in place. And then we're going to put our floor plate on the rails. All 
and push it back. And there we go. Success. Got it in one. For real this time. And just to make sure we didn't screw it up, we're going to give this a functions check. So you're wondering, we got our snap caps here. Why would I need to do this? Well, maybe you had a particularly difficult watermelon, and as you're field stripping it, you got some of its drippings inside the magazine, and that's going to cause reliable reliability problems, even for a Glock. I, I mean, I guess that's it, right? Or if you're in a dusty environment, whatever. Use your imagination. And finally, we'll retrieve the trusty Glock 17 and give this a functions check. No live ammo in there. Feels good. Chambered around. Went back into battery. And will it lock back? Success! There you have it, folks. And next week we'll go back to AR-15 components, my most popular series to date. Yeah, that's sweat. I'm in the tropics. And yes, this technique works for the SR-22 and the Bursa Thunder as well. Basically the same uh, magazine designs there. 1911, well, that's its own video. Maybe some other time. And because I'd like to think that I'm not a monster, I've enclosed this picture of a Glock 26 with a Glock 18 magazine to hopefully cleanse your palate after looking at that anemic neutered 10-rounder.